Um, so now that we've got that, we're going to do another one. So control copy. Make sure it's not inside here. Make sure it's make sure it's outside. I don't know how I did that. Make sure it, there we go. Make sure it's outside, not inside this thing. It's a separate if statement. And this time, let's do um, maybe the player's holding these two. If the player's holding W and A, we want it to kind of we want the unit to travel northwest. Um, if you understand what I'm saying, so. Um, the way polar coordinates work is that 0 degrees is east, and 90 degrees is north, and 180 is west, and 270 is south. So if that still doesn't make sense, you can always just copy exactly what I'm doing, and then it'll work. Um, so instead of going plus 0 0.1, we, we want it to turn at a little angle now because the player is holding W and A. So we want to do run angle plus 45 degrees. Um, and the reason for this is that our run angle is going to be the straight w direction, and we want it to go us at a 45 degree angle of that because they're holding a as well. And I hope that makes sense. So that that's good. And the next condition we need to do is what if the player is holding um, w and d? So set this to false, which means they're traveling northeast from a compass kind of point of view. So w and d. And if they're doing that we want to do um, minus 45 degrees or you could do plus 220 or plus uh, 315 degrees I think but keeping the numbers simple okay minus 45 and then copy paste again um, so now what if the player is just traveling west they're just holding A so we just want to do uh, just A and get rid of the D on. Get, get rid of that. Okay. And if they're just if they just want to travel with the A button, then we need to make them walk plus ninety. Okay. And now what if they are just holding the D button? And so we gotta do another one. Make if they're just holding the D here. And if they're just holding D, we want them to go minus 90. So the opposite sort of thing. Keep it simple. Copy paste. Okay, and what do I have next in my notes? Um, oh yeah. So if the player's now, if the player is only holding the S key, let's change this back to a false. If the player just wants to walk backwards, we just have to make him walk um, plus. 180. You could do minus 180. Doesn't matter. I just like plus. Um, and the only issue with this that's different than uh, RPGs is that he's going to walk towards the camera. He's not going to walk backwards towards the camera. And we can't really, at least as far as I'm concerned, we can't really change that. Um, at, this is going to work fine though. If in this case, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay. And now if he wants to travel. Uh, Southwest, which is W, I mean, which is S and A. So S is on and A is on. And if he's got S and A on, we want him to go plus 135 degrees. Okay. And just take my word for these numbers. And then if he wants to go with S and D now, I'm just covering all the bases here S and D. Okay, and we're going to order this, and the direction is going to be plus 225. Okay, and that's pretty much it for unit movement, if everything went well. And um, I think we can actually go test this now. So I'm going to go in game. Okay, I'm in game. Um, w is forward, S is back, A is left, D is right. I can do the diagonals too. Uh, left mouse scrolls around, right mouse changes his facing, and works pretty good. Um, but we do have one bug, which I know I forgot to fix, because you can see he's kind of being jumpy um, when we hold right mouse and move at the same time. He runs well without right mouse, but as soon as we hold right mouse, he gets sort of jumpy. Um, so let's go fix that. In this thing we want to do 
after existing orders. And I don't know why it just works like this, but it does after existing orders. Um, and then we want to change, I think our run, I think our run condition's okay. Uh, I think we can just run this and we'll see, hopefully, our unit movement condition, act trigger, I mean, not our run condition. Uh, okay, so let's go test this. Okay, and yeah, now I'm holding right mouse and I'm moving and it's much smoother. The guy's running properly. Um, there's some drones, so I'm going to right click this guy. Good, and now I can drag around, move back. Uh, I'm going to right click this guy. Um, this is actually pretty fun. So, uh, yeah. Um, I really hope this tutorial helps people because I've seen a lot of camera tutorials out there and nothing's really solid or smooth is what I've done here. And this is sort of uh, completely usable. Um, but it's up to you where you want to go with this. I mean, if you want to add abilities and stuff, you can make dialogue buttons um, if you understand what they are. Because I did hide the game UI. Um, and the sort of trick here is that we don't actually have our unit selected. Uh, as a Warcraft 3 unit, because if we do, we see these, we see our move and things going off crazily because of our triggers running so quickly. Um, but it's pretty cool. So let's, and we don't actually, our guy won't actually attack. We actually have to right click. So it's kind of realistic in that sense. It's not just auto attack. And so I hope this tutorial helps. It's been pretty fun doing. And uh, thanks for watching.